the Republic of Congo is really rich in energy resources. We have the most powerful river in Africa, Congo. But we are still lacking energy supply for all the population. We need to move toward the renewable energy in order to stabilize our economic and of course impact the development of our country. I'm Dr. Marie Zinkwa from Congo Brazzaville. I'm a lecturer in physics and a lab manager to a research laboratory. I'm an experimental physicist researcher. My PhD work was mostly based on surface characterization using advanced uh, electronic microscopes. To date, I'm still working on this field, but when I decided to come back in Congo, I shift a little bit my research interest. So now I'm still an experimental physicist, but working in material science and in energy. We are working to develop hybrid system from different renewable energy resources like biomass and solar panels. We focus on two types of biomass, the one called algae and ledermania. And those kind of biomass are found in the Congo River. The choice of those biomass is also based on the fact that they can easily be put into artificial culture and this will definitely be solve the issue of algal bloom from the Congo River. So because we have this problem in our river. And this is in order to provide affordable and clean energy distribution to Congolese community. It was really a struggle at the beginning because you know that if you would like to do practical work, you need to have equipment. So I knew that since I came back home, so I knew that I will have a problem of equipment, but I wanted to have this challenge on me. The OWSD has uh, really helped me a lot on my research career. While I was implementing the, the project, it has helped me on building a team because I was able to pay my student, I was able to pay my collaborator, and also I was able to pay sometimes child care when it was needed. And also you get a kind of credibility to the international community. I believe in the place where in Congo we we will be using research to develop ourselves. We will be using research to help our country grow. So when we finished our project, we didn't stop there. Okay, we found everything, we wrote paper and that's it. No, we used our design to bring it to Mbamu Island because there the clinic does not have any electricity. So we provide them with electricity. We provide them not only the clinic, but also the, the school. We provide electricity to the police station. And uh, for me, it was more than the joy to see people using affordable and clean energy electricity. Now they are sure they will not go across Brazzaville in order to have some vaccine or to have some medicine. Children could read during the night with the electricity. And this is just a win-win for me. And this is where I always say to people that the research is not only for the laboratory, but it's to be used also for the population and see people enjoying that. And this is why my team and I are really working very hard to let not only our government to understand the importance of research, how it could impact on the development of a country, but we will not stop there. We will collaborate not only uh, back home, but we collaborate with other African countries in order to understand that something could be done not only in Europe or in USA, but something could be done also back home, back in our country, back in our Africa, back in our land, and it's possible. Until now, I'm the only physicist lecturer in the Republic of Congo. 
I need to be a leader for other women. I need to be another leader for other young girls who would like to be to work on the field of STEM. So this is for me. I could not stop there. I always use my passion in order to be better and to continue to do better.